And the next week I go to Indonesia. So I'll be away for about 10 days. But I'll be doing some IRL streams. I could even go play golf in Indonesia, you know? Do you yell something? Hey, say that again. Me, 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 me. Sounds like a Michael problem. I know you're probably sick of this question, but can you give any advice to beginners in Tarkov? I certainly can, sir. Firstly, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot. That's okay. Everyone dies in Tarkov. That's a advice number one. So when you're dying, don't be like, fucking, no one else dies in Tarkov. This is bullshit. Everyone dies. Literally everyone. Even, the, even cheaters die in Tarkov, believe it or not. Even cheaters die in Tarkov. Rule number one, die a lot. Yep. Okay, good. We got that sorted. Number two. Information is power in this game. The more you learn, the better you'll get. You could be the world's best head clicker and still be absolutely atrocious to this game if you don't learn some shit. First thing you should learn. Taking your notes, chat. I want to see one person take a note right here. One person, two people. Two people take a note. Good. All right. Um, first thing, ammo is more important than the gun. Ammo is more important than the gun. You could have this gun and be like, wow, this gun fucking shoots so fast. You got the shittest ammo, you're not even going to kill them because you're going to you're gonna not get through their armor, not do any damage to them. Right? But if it's a high damage ammo and you know it's a high damage ammo and you have the knowledge for that, then you can know, shoot them in the legs. Shoot them in the dick. Guess what? Stomach takes 1.5 damage. 1.5 times damage. So then you actually do more damage by shooting them in the dick. Did you know that, chat? Did you actually know that? I don't think you did. Do you do that? You do know that now. If you actually have rip ammo, I'm pretty sure you can three tap someone in the stomach. But if they're wearing an armor that has stomach protection, you can't shoot them in the dick. You have to shoot them in the legs or the arms. They're just aim for the le legs, all right? Aim for the legs and then some bullets will hit the dick. This is honestly like... Ugh. They need a fucking... You know, you know, in Dark and Dark Era, they got that little like dossier thing that you can open up and it shows you just some, some basic information. <laughs> this fucking game just needs that. There are so many things that you probably don't know. Alt T. Check back, right? Did you know if you hold C and scroll your mouse wheel, you adjust your height just that little bit, you know? Or maybe I want to go down a little bit. Here we go. You just want to do a little peek. Old D. Old Q sidesteps. You know? <laughs> just the height to shoot the dick. Fuck, I stuffed up then. Okay, don't re-peek ever against raiders. Alright, next thing. Now that we understand how the game works. Set yourself obtainable objectives. What do I mean by that? When you're new, don't sit, go, I'm going to go into the raid and kill 14 players and kill the scav boss and everything, right? Just go, I'm going to go into this raid and my objective is literally just to get to the extract. That's it. And then maybe go on the next time after you've learned where an extract is, go on this raid, I'm going to try and kill five scavs and get to an extract or three scavs and get to an extract. This raid, I'm going to try and do one quest. Just set little basic objectives and build up to doing more hardcore shit. You don't need to go fucking, I'm going to try and loot five buildings and go across the map and do all this shit. Literally, at the, when you very first start playing Tarkov, just go, I want to start at the, the spawn and I want to get to the extract. That's it. 
If you can loot some stuff on the way, awesome. But just getting used to just moving across the map to the extract is a challenge in itself. And I think a lot of people go, oh, I need to start looting. I'm in the raid. Let's loot straight away. Let's get as much stuff as I can. And next minute, you're just a loot pinata for anyone who's half decent at the game. You might think I'm memeing here, but this is actually legitimate advice. Thing. Like I'm actually looking to see what ammo is in the in the mags by doing this, and then I can make a decision what I want to do from there. I like to leave doors closed. Other people like to leave them open. Personally, I like to close every door I go through, even if it gives away my position on where I've been. Because if I leave every door closed that I've been through, right? And then I come here later and the doors are open, I know someone's been there. It's a little thing I like to do. Everyone has their own plan on how they, how they do it. Yeah, obviously using scav runs when you start playing is uh is being I would say pick one map and try and get half decent in that map before you start playing on all the maps. If you can find someone to play with, also a really good idea. Um for any, for any of the non new players here, uh there's a green key card spawn right there. Don't be surprised if in the first, like, 100 raids of you playing, you don't survive more than 10. And, and for people that are, like, been playing a little while, if you've got a survival rate above, like, 25%, you're actually doing really well. Like, think of it in this perspective. You've been playing the game, you go into a raid. In a raid, let's just say a customs raid typically has 13 players in it. There's 13 players in there. You have to go past those players and get to the extract. Now, say on average, a raid, three or four people extract. And this goes back to why me saying everyone dies. If three or four people extract, then you're pretty much going, uh, I have to get past you know, these other 10 players, 10 to 12 players to get it to this extract and one in three or one in four of the times I get out, that's actually really good. You know what I mean? Like, you're actually doing really well because there's everyone's fighting everyone. There's scams that can kill you. There's literally a fucking game can kill you just by disconnecting you. There's so many things that can go wrong. Um, I feel probably more intermediate advice for people that want to like, once you get confident with map layouts, I like to move a lot more quickly. That doesn't always mean sprint, but I always like to try and move forward. And that goes back to being, having an objective, right? So for example, if you are pointing into customs and you go, okay, I'm going to get the bronze pocket watch. Well, then I constantly try and keep moving towards that bronze pocket watch. It does one of two things. Firstly, you're moving consistently forward. And if you're moving quick enough, the only way people from behind you can kill you is if they're running. And that means you'll be able to hear them. So if you're either, you, you, you do small bursts of running across open areas and stuff like that. Um, yeah, generally, you can actually, you'll hear people chasing you or trying to catch up to you. Which means you get actually... A, bit of a jump on them because sometimes you'll be able to just 
Or, oh, someone's coming up this way. I can just turn around and camp. Um, and then also... Oh. Sorry. And then also just being able to consistently move forward. You mostly just have to worry about the people in front of you. So you're, you're literally looking forward more than you're looking at your sides and the behind. Uh, double tap Z then. What the fuck's this guy? Hello? I sound like a player. That's a player. It's not a player. Okay, so what's happening right here, chat? Is, uh, this is called being, being fucked around by BSG. Right? Because I heard them on the ground level in that direction. But they were apparently above me in that direction. Okay? This is literally like what is called being shafted by BSG. This new fucking audio is so fucking confusing. I believe there's a scrap here. I don't think they can shoot you through these windows because I think these are bulletproof. Alright, to uh, quick drop your backpack, double tap Z as well. Learn the hotkeys, it really will help you save time. Uh, do I want some rip ammo? Probably not. your backpack's getting chonky in something like labs one of the options is to uh pick up a second backpack and just keep running the loot back and forth save you a bit of time there You'd like to know more chat. Um, so, what I usually try and do is I throw a grenade every now and then. If, you, if there's any raiders nearby and you throw a grenade, they will um, they'll make an audio cue. So this is a way that you can actually uh, you can actually get uh, the jump on raiders without getting them letting them get a jump on you. Get worried about this one spot right here. I'm going to search these back inside the little cabin thing. Now, when you're looting, if this is more of an, a, a more of a uh, intermediate tip, but when you're looting, you want to always aim to make each square of loot worth at least 10,000 rubles. That means something like this is not really worth it. Because this is probably worth about 15k, and it takes up two squares. So the worst case has to be about 7.5k. Um... But something like this, for example, is worth about 40k. They're, they're worth 20, that's 20k a square. But if you start getting in the habit of learning that and basing your looting off that, um, you'll actually make a lot more in profits. 
Um, some things, like, for example, these are 45k to buy from vendor, and I use them a lot. But to sell, they're not really worth that much. So, um, sometimes I'll just loot stuff because I can. Um, just because I want to use it, but it's not really the best way of doing it. You're still better off looting, so it's, uh, 10k a square. Because then you can just buy it anyway. You, you've got the option to buy. Uh, this is the vector mag. Don't need that. These mags are probably worth holding on to. Read my cheats. Look good. Um. Now we are low in hydration. We're currently sitting at the 57 kilo mark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this backpack over here. Now, I've been very lucky. It's still very early on in the wipe. We're only like a week. We're less than a week in or something. And so not a lot of people were buying lab cards yet. There's not a lot of people above level 34 or whatever you need for therapists. So labs is not full right now. But every now and then you'll get a couple of empty raids. So it's been a good one. I can actually explain stuff to you without having to uh, struggle too much with players at the same time. Now I'm going to... Labs, generally, the raiders don't spawn very often unless you press buttons. Sometimes they'll spawn without, but they'll spawn a lot more when you do press buttons. So, I'm going to keep pressing these buttons. We can just capitalize on maximum loot. I do need to find some hydration, though. are done. Let's throw this. Alright, so the raiders are over that way. We heard them just at the end. I'm going to leave this backpack here. If there is a player in here, hopefully they don't find it. Oh god, they're running towards. was that? Right, we're going blurry. Because of the uh, dehydration. Bring another nade. Just make sure there's no more raiders around here. are in labs guys make sure you check the ammo of pretty much every mag but you could get some really really good ammo that's shitty ammo so we don't worry about that so this is kind of what we want ideal scenario really I've got to go back to the other backpack now um Rip ammo. So I'm going to go like this real quick. 
And all these will go in here. Um, they're coming, chat. the big pack on right, so the way i want to do this a bit more effort but um and bam oops that got to come out that goes there cool. i have to go get hydration this is getting a little bit annoying a few places i should be able to get hydration in this map sometimes just down here on the stairs on here Balls to check. I'm gonna go for it. And Billy here. Cafeteria. Don't actually know what the fuck that scab's doing out there. there so I'm not gonna just walk out just yet I'll be okay all right so they're on around the corner I think Be able to see. Oh. <laughs> so confusing. I'm going to go this way. You don't want to repick a, a raider or a scav, really. You want to avoid that at all costs. I want to go in that door there, preferably, but.
thanks for all the advice, my G. Point five times damage. Yeah. I will definitely keep watching your streams. You are awesome. Nice, dude. Man, I'm running out of ammo in this. I just need hydration. I, I'm struggling with hydration. I'm struggling with ammo. Probably someone's got a juice, a hot rod. Vice. Is that a grenade? What the fuck? I honestly can't tell you where these guys are. That's the fucked bit. Like, the audio literally just means they're around. Drink the shampoo. small with you. No. I think it's going to have to be it. I think I had to loot half the places I wanted to. Well, you loot first, then press the fucking raider buttons. Pestily, hey man, do you play with a sound equalizer or something to limit the deafening sounds in this game? No. Or don't.
Den står ikke med det. I don't think it's still chamber can be sold on flame. Really hope there's no raiders that spawned in late here. It's really awkward if it is. If there are. Oh, I've got 14,000 XP.